All right, welcome back, YouTube. My name is the Blade Tardigrade, and we're getting into some Battleship Brawlers today. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I've actually tried to organize stuff. I know it's crazy. Me? Who would have known? Anyway, in the left-hand corner, we've got Kawa and Selfs. They're on a team. This is going to be a bracket team style. So, Kawa and Selfs are going to be team one. And then team two over here is going to be Cool Gamertag and Tippy. Cool Gamertag and Tippy. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, this is uh, this is pretty wild. <laughs> Tippy's got the rails. Cool Gamertag has the mobility. All right. They're docking. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. I think they need to get moving, though. Yeah, Seos is coming up on them. Uh, they've got to move and they've got to do it fast. Oh, no. CGT losing a good portion of his ship. Not super ideal. Seos was ready. And there we go. Tippy is down. There's mines going off. There's chaos happening. <laughs> These two using the exact same ship. And there we go. Team one taking the win for the first round. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This will be round two for team one and two. Team one over here in the left, Kawa and Seos. Kawa bringing a different ship this time, an Ion Blaster. Seos bringing in the same deck. Wait, this isn't. Oh, yeah, it is a deck cannon ram. I'm just blind. And in the right hand corner, we've got Cool Gamer Tag and Tippy. Tippy bringing in his deck gun ship and cool gamertab bringing in an interesting configuration it's a bunch of very very tiny rails let's see how this pans out uh this will be match point for sales and kawa we're going to be doing a best of three for each team versus team in the bracket so Seos and Kawa here only have to win one round while Cool Gamertag and Tippy are gonna have to win two rounds in a row. Ooh, Seos whiffing a bunch of shots into the ether. Ooh, does manage to land on one railgun there. Kawa is joining the fray and he's gonna start dealing damage onto Cool Gamertag here. And he just to get right down to Cool Gamertag's command deck taking out one of them and making him immobile does not have the command points to run his ship anymore kawa knows this and he's moving on to tippy Ooh. all right kawa bearing down on tippy is now stuck to the side of him and drilling through. Not super ideal under any circumstance. Sales is just pushing Cool Gamer Tag away. Oh, he has managed to get through the armor. And he's starting to deal some damage in the thruster cluster. Oh. Alright, he's turning his armor towards Kawa. He's trying to get his, uh, what do you call him, mandibles around Kawa here. There we go. He's got his shields facing towards him. That's exactly what he wants. The only issue is now Tippy's going to have to deal with these two versus just him. Luckily for him, there's a lot of deck cannon shots being whiffed out into the ether, but not those ones. And that's uh, a lot of Tippy's thrust gone. He's going to be very unmaneuverable compared to these two at this point. Caught between a rock and a hard place. It is not looking good for our friend Tippy here. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for Team 2. 
Yeah, unfortunately, that leaves them gone on the bracket. Team one victorious in a best of three. And we'll be moving on to team three and four in the next match. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be teams three and four for our bracket today. In the left-hand corner, we've got Nickel Smart and Pinecone Apple Tree. Pinecone Apple Tree bringing in a cannon wall. Nickel Smart bringing in a deck gun wall. And over here for team four, we got Blaze 580 with his ICBM Mark III. It's a nuke cruiser. And 00, or sorry, 011, bringing in a rail fan. The spending cap is 1.5 mil per player. Um, I have allowed five ships per player, but at 1.5, most people like to play just one ship. This will be a best of three between these two. And then whoever is the winner of the best of three between these two teams will be going up against our team one, Kawa and Sales, very shortly. Pinecone Apple Tree coming around the back, getting ready to try and take out Zero One. It looks like Blaze showing off his moves. Looks like Pinecone Apple Tree is gonna get into combat with Zero One here. Zero One manages to take out some shields on the other side, but neither player really doing a whole lot of damage to the other. But yeah, it looks like Pinecone Apple Tree has him stuck on the front of his ship. Not exactly ideal where you want to be for a rail fan. In the meanwhile, Blaze down here just barely dodges a bunch of whiffed deck cannon shots from Nickel Smart. And he's trying to get over here and help his buddy. Zero one losing a significant portion of his damage. Bunch of rails going down. Not super ideal, but it is not the end just yet. Because here comes a bunch of nukes. Hey, a friendly fire is off, otherwise he would have uh, been really sad. Loses part of his ship, but not all of it. I'd say about a fourth. Oh, man. Zero One is down to three railguns left. Blaze is busy trying to rebuild all of his nukes. But meanwhile, Pinecone Apple Tree is just tearing Zero One apart. Zero One, not able to fan as a real fan should, is in trouble. In a lot of trouble. There we go. He finally releases Zero One with one rail left. Nickel Smart, trying to catch up. Blaze also giving chase. A lot of thrust on that guy, too. Not sure if it's the same amount of thrust as Pinecone Apple Tree. It looks like Pinecone Apple Tree's ship might be lighter. It's really hard to tell with these ships. Yeah, it looks like Zero One has been left out in the red zone. He's on his own. He's trying to get, I think, enough command points to be able to run stuff, but he doesn't have any power in the back of his ship. Not super ideal. Blaze, though, coming up on Pinecone Apple Tree, starts launching a bunch of nukes, but that ship is too maneuverable and just dodges all of them. Not super ideal. That's his only source of damage. And Pinecone Apple Tree is now orbiting around. Once he gets close enough, I think he's going to start dealing some damage. He's going to try to stick to the outside of Blaze here. Ooh, Blaze losing a few nukes. Luckily, Friendly Fire is not on. Otherwise, that would have been a rough patch. There we go. Pinecone Apple Tree is in close combat. He's able to fire his cannons and start dealing some damage. Blaze trying really hard to do some dodging and get his nukes facing towards Pinecone. Pinecone sees it and starts trying to get out of the way of those missiles. 
does manage to get out of the way of the, nis the missiles. I think Blaze needs to make a move for the center. He does manage to hit Pinecone with a couple nukes, putting some holes in his ship, probably having his damage. It was quite a bit of damage, but Blaze gets cored out at the end. And that is it. Team one takes the win. All right, welcome back to the second round for this second group of teams. In the left hand corner, we got Nickel Smart and Pinecone Apple Tree. The winners from last round, Pinecone Apple Tree bringing in a swarm instead of what he brought last time. Nickel Smart bringing in a deck gun wall. In the right hand corner, we got Zero One bringing in a multitude of different ships, and Blaze bringing in a laser blaster fast wall. Nickel Smart and Pinecone Apple Tree only need to win one more game in order to continue on into the next round of the bracket. Zero One and Blaze, on the other hand, are going to have to win two games in a row to move forward. Team one here, spreading out fairly far. I don't think these ships are disconnected yet. No, yeah, I think to keep them under better control, they're still attached together. I think the idea behind these swarms is to like get them close and then detach all of the swarms so that it's a bunch of chaos. But at the start, like for the maneuverability, you have them all connected together. It looks like team two here is gonna try to come in and around. Yeah, they're gonna try to catch Pinecone and apple tree slipping. They were not able to do so. Nickel Smart has taken the center of the map. And he's just going to wait for the red circle of death to bring everybody to him, it looks like. Pinecone and apple tree, meanwhile, going to play zone defense and orbit around Nickel Smart, is what it appears to be. Blaze getting in close to one of the swarm clusters. Looks like he's going to try to engage. Franco and Apple Tree bringing in another group of said fighters with his boost thrusters on. They're going to play bumper cars with each other real quick. There we go. <laughs> uh oh. They might be stuck together. Oh, no. Just kidding. They got enough thrusters. Nickel Smart making a move from the center to come in. Zero one was gunning it towards these guys, but he's changed course. All these players trying to play very strategically. They want to be well positioned before they start. Nickel Smart opening up with some shots that he lands on 0-1. Not managing to get through the shields just yet. There we go. Bringing down the shields and taking out 0-1's deck gun ship. Meanwhile, a couple whiffed shots, but nothing too serious as far as engagements over here. Here we go. Blaze and Pinecone Apple Tree getting into it. Pinecone Apple Tree looks like, yeah, he's disconnecting a few ships. Getting ready to release the swarm. There we go. He's disconnected some of his ships and he's preparing to go in meanwhile blaze has gotten a hold of one of his ships and he's tearing it apart looks like there are a bunch of cannon fighters meanwhile nickel smart is engaging zero one's other cannon ship and he manages to core it out zero one also coming up to the back of nickel smart though Blaze getting swarmed by a whole bunch of cannon ships. Not super ideal. Oh, we've got a little bit of lag. Hopefully we don't have any DCs. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's not good. Ooh, we'll have to begin this round over again. I don't know. 
know. It's hard to tell if the DC was on purpose or not. Hmm. It's basically Nickel Smart versus Blaze at this point. Since Nickel Smart has managed to take fairly minimal damages versus zero one. So it does appear to be Blaze. Yeah, Blaze versus Nickel Smart for the deciding factor. Yeah, haven't decided how to treat DCs yet. Um, I suppose purposefully DCing could be a way, could be seen as a way to restart your match if you don't like the way it's going. So therefore, I don't think that I will allow restarts for DCs. You DC, you DC. Manages to aim his deck gun shots pretty well. The circle is closing in. There's only 30 seconds left on the closing of the circle. The laser blasters do seem to have a lot more range than the deck cannons. And I think Blaze's ship has a lot more maneuverability. So I think Nickel Smart is having an issue trying to get damage done. I say that as he manages to land a whole bunch of deck gun shots onto Blaze's ship. Hard to keep the camera rotated the right way. Players like circling around each other. The shields do seem to be managing to hold, at least for now. Not that shot, though. That one got through. The ships are now in close combat, which I think is not where Blaze wants to be. Hmm. Really hard to tell where this is going. There's a lot of armor that Blaze has to get through, and Blaze does not have a whole lot of armor compared to Nickel Smart. Oh. Yeah, and Blaze is taking a bunch of damage. He's got a hole through the center of his ship. There's no shielding there. Both players taking damage to the red zone. We're essentially in overtime. And there we go. Nickel Smart is now attached to Blaze. Manages to core him out. And that is pretty much it for Team 2. There we go. Team 1 taking the win. Nickel Smart and Pinecone Apple Tree 2-1. to one. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have the two finalists from either group ready to face off in their matches against each other. We got Nickel Smart and Pinecone Apple Tree, our victors from the last couple rounds, in the left-hand corner. In the right-hand corner, we have Salves and Kawa from our earlier matches. Salves bringing a rail fan, rail kite, I would say. It's got some nukes on it. That'll be fun. It's also got EMP missiles. Kawa bringing in a deck gun ship. Pinko and Apple Tree bringing in a fast wall cannon, oop de doo -da. Nickel Smart bringing in a cannon wall as well. Deck cannon wall. Ram. Deck cannon ram. Let's see how these two groups of players decide to engage. Oh. Souse is already engaging with Pineco and Apple Tree. He's got a bunch of EMP torpedoes that I think he's going to try to use to his advantage. Kawa is coming up from the rear as well. Seeing if he can get close enough to deal some damage. 
There's a lot of point defense on that bad boy, though, and he's managing... Yeah, to stay ahead of him. It's very maneuverable. Very light compared to the amount of thrust it's got. Ooh. Kind of doing a swing by. Ooh, loses a bunch of thrust. Deck cannon shots are away. Loses a couple thrusters at the back, but nothing too major yet. Nickel Smart trying to keep up. Doesn't have enough thrust yet, though. It's all right. The circle will close down. The nukes are away from Salves, and they... Ooh, yeah, they do a significant portion of damage. Ooh, and he manages to thread the needle with the railguns straight through where he had just taken out the shields. And it looks like that is it for Pinecone Apple Tree. He does still have, like, a third of a ship. Not anymore, though. It's been vaporized. Kawa and Salves... Looking very strong. See how they fare against Nickel Smart. Uh, I think, yeah, very minimal damages taken by either player. So the two deck cannon walls are about to go head to head. But there's going to be some railgun support from the back, which is not going to be super ideal for Nickel Smart. Kawa managing to get around back of Nickel Smart. Doesn't land any shots, but he is now stuck to the back of Nickel Smart, which is not where he, Nickel Smart wants him to be. He is taking a few hits, but nothing too crazy so far. Here come the railguns. Dealing some damage. Nickel Smart giving a few shots. Oh, there's a good explosion. It's looking pretty rough. If I were Nickel Smart, I'd be panicking right about now. He does seem to have enough command points to still run everything. But he's severely crippled compared to what he used to be. Especially with that deck cannon fire to the rear. And there we go. Team 2 takes the victory. Kawa and Souths. Alright, this is going to be round, round 2 for our finalists. In the left hand, we got Nickel Smart. And Pineco and Apple Tree. And in the right, we have Souths and Kawa. Souths and Kawa bring in the same two ships that they brought before. Nickel Smart bring in the same deck gun ship that he brought before. And Pineco and Apple Tree bring in a rail fan and some cannon ships. Some bare bones cannon ships. A little bit of armor, just enough that it might help. Looks like they're going to try to use the asteroids to their advantage. Hmm. Computer's lagging a little bit, I think. Alright, South and Cow is splitting off. Looking like they're gonna run a pincer move almost. Mmm. Yeah, looking scary. Kawa, feigning like he's going to go around this asteroid, decides at the last minute to turn around. And he's gunning it straight for Pineco and Apple Tree. He wants to get rid of those rails. Pineco and Apple Tree whiffing a few shots off into the ether. Not super ideal. He's got to reload those guns very quick and then do a fanning maneuver. Kawa, trying to get around back before his next set of deck gun shots goes off. Souths, doing some artillery from the back. Not good. Kawa's like stuck to the side here. Gets through the armor and takes out one of the thruster clusters. It's going to be much more difficult for Pinecone Apple Tree to do his fanning maneuvers. In comes some railgun shots from Souths. Taking out one of Pinecone Apple Tree's smaller cannon ships. Looks like Pinecone Apple Tree is going to try to punch through the shielding the South has, but I don't know if he has the firepower to do so. Some more railgun shots coming in. Not doing any critical damage. There we go. Nickel Smart managing to get some shots on the back of Kawa here. 
taking out a few vital organs. Michael and Apple Tree frantically spinning around. Kawa's very good at maneuvering in circles around these guys. There we go. He launches a few rails. Doesn't really manage to get through, it looks like. Oh. Oh, there's some missiles being launched. He's actually... Oh, here we go. Cannon shots being launched. Manages to take out a, a little bit on South's ship here. Yeah, Kawa really wants that rail fan gone. Meanwhile, Selfs gets a nice shot into Nickel Smart's ship. He loses half of his thrust. Not super ideal. Oh, I missed that. But, yep, yeah, there we go. Team 2 takes the win. All right, and that concludes our first battleship brackets. Thanks for participating, everybody who did. And, uh, yeah, we have our winners here, Kawa and Selfs. Uh, I'll try to be doing more of these in the future. Uh, let me know if you guys like this style, if you'd like to see any changes. Uh, maybe less people, more people, oop de doo da Whatever you guys think of, throw it down in the comments, and I will see what I can do. I'm also thinking about implementing just like a small prize for winning these uh, that I can ship out to said winners. But yeah. Let me know what you guys thought. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.